What a beautiful evening to take the Avata 2 for a test flight with a beta firmware I just received from DJI. And I can see that uh, right now the sun is moving towards behind some clouds. So let's get everything up and running so we, I can show you what you're getting with this firmware. One of the things that you're getting is uh, that you're getting 4K 100 FPS opposed to the 4K 60, which was the maximum frame rate that was possible and resolution that was possible with the previous version. So let's just see here. So let me just enable uh, yes, live screen sharing here on the phone. So the way that I do that is I tap on uh, the, yeah, the quick transfer icon here and you can see that the goggles are already showing up. I'm going to hurry this a little bit because the sun is going away <laughs> in just a second. So I press join. Hopefully it will connect. And the advantage of doing this is that uh, the screen recording inside the goggles, that's actually only running uh, while you're recording. So uh, in this way, I can record everything that goes on in between when I press record here. So right now, I've put the drone in uh, 4K 50 because with the 4K uh, 100 FPS, it would be a little bit a shame to use the 60, 60 FPS option because then the frame rate will not add up. So, so one of the things that, uh, as I just mentioned, that you got with this one is that you get the possibility to bump the resolution to 100 FPS. So let's just do that. So the recording stopped. So I go under settings, I go under camera, then I can go up here and you see now I have the option to bump it up to 100 FPS 4K. That's not the only thing that you're getting with this firmware. Let's just see, I don't know if I can fly exactly the same route. I can try. So, flying something like this. And then, oh me, hello. <laughs> I still haven't got my DJI Care Refresh enabled for on this drone, so I'm not going to do anything crazy today. But this is a 4K, uh, yeah, 100 FPS. So the other option that is uh, available uh, with this uh, firmware update, apart from uh, some additional support, is that you will have the possibility to have D-Log M enabled in the goggles. I'm not sure if that was actually present before. And then uh, if I go down here, I have the option to scroll further in the menu here. So I can go out to the end. I had a hard time finding this. I was actually out here <laughs> to test this a little bit earlier today. Uh, but you can enable D-Log M. Uh, that means that you will get access to 10-bit to flat color profile that will help preserve the dynamic range of the footage. See now, it's almost too late to do this. I think we are getting it. Hello, hello. It's funny the, the way that I'm standing <laughs> when I'm doing this. So this is a 4K 10-bit, 100 FPS. So this is basically the maximum, yeah, data that this drone can collect. Let's just continue flying a little bit around here. The D-Log M is a flat color profile that will help uh, preserve the highlights and the dark areas in the footage. But this is the whole purpose of having a D-Log M. Let's just flick it into sport mode, see what we can do there. And we don't get too close to the mills here. It's really, really beautiful here today. <laughs> Dive bomb! <laughs> so? So those are basically the main things that you'll be getting with this. 
Uh, I got the firmware, the beta firmware, prior to the release, but I'm not allowed to release the video until it's accessible to you guys as well. So you should probably be able to download it as it is right now. So let, let me, let's just show you what firmware that I'm running here right now. So if you go in here, we go under about, you can see that these are the firmware version that I'm running. This is the remote controller firmware and this is the goggles firmware. They might be named something else once you get hold of these. Let's just do a flippy flippy. Just for the sake of uh, the 100 FPS. No, nope. again, record. Ah, too many buttons. So now we're struggling with the light, but I guess this is what we're getting right now. <laughs> the 180. That's basically a way of turning the drone when we're flying next to me. We do a nice move like this. It's nice. And again, the slide up there, that's just a placeholder for you not accidentally to do something with the, the Easy Arc remotes. <laughs> <laughs> Precision landing. That's maybe a little bit <laughs> exaggerated. It was taking off from this position. So I think we captured what we needed in due time for the light to uh, yeah, go down. So let's just take off all this stuff here. So now I can tell you what we're getting. We, it's added 4K, 100 FPS for more slow motion shooting. And again, you need to be aware here, if you're switching between different uh, frame rates, make sure that they add up, that they divide into each other, otherwise <laughs> one of them will look really odd. So that's uh, definitely something that to look out for. Avata 2 is now compatible with Goggles 2, Goggles Integra, RC Motion 2, FPV RC 2. Easy Acro is supported by RC Motion 2 as well. I don't have any of those, <laughs> so I can't really verify that. D-Log M supported by Goggles 3. And that's kind of where I'm a little bit in doubt. I can't remember if D-Log was available before. I actually think it was. So I don't know if that's a feature that would allow you to see sort of the D-Log recording quality, flat color profile inside the goggles or not. At least I learned that you had to operate the goggles to be able to access uh, the different color profiles. You're kind of weird. You can't use this to... Uh, access the menu items uh, all to the right. So the embargo is uh, 3 p.m. CET time the 28th of May. And this is right about now when you're watching this video or after that. So you should be able to download it as it is. Earlier today, I also tested uh, some uh, ND filters from Freewell that I just received in the mail. And this is where I ran into the problems that I couldn't find <laughs> the color profiles. So I had to abort that. But I will turn that footage into a separate video so you can see the benefits that you're getting from uh, the filters. I got a standard set from, uh, yeah, a standard ND filter set. I got a UV filler and I also got a polarized version, which I thought was really, really interesting. As you could see, this really enhances the saturation of your footage. So. Stay tuned for that one, and uh, once that is available, I'll make sure to link that in through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.